This is the latest in running and endurance headlines with Pace Per Mile News and Lisa Knight. The Mumbai Marathon took a lethal turn this weekend when three young men with no known history of heart ailments collapsed after their hearts stopped beating. Three days later, two of them, Amit Kasat, 37, an investment banker with the Standard Charter Group, and 40-year-old Viraj Kowal, a photographer, are still in critical condition in the intensive care unit at Bombay Hospital on Marine Lines. was running the half marathon when he collapsed after suffering a cardiac arrest. He was revived through electrical shocks at the hospital and is in stable condition. Indian youngsters are four times more susceptible than Westerners to suffer a cardiac arrest. Out of 5,000 Indian young people screened over a 10-year period, about 16% with heart problems were aged below 40. Internationally, that figures only around 4%. About 3,000 people will step or roll off the streets of Melbourne in races that comprise the Public's Melbourne Music Marathon Weekend, which takes place the first weekend in February. And while that race is going on, more than 200 sand runners will do the same on the dusty trails of the Middle East. They're members of the Desert Striders a club formed by deployed troops who spread the word about their growing organization and its ambitions through social media. They'll be running the race virtually along with their counterparts in Melbourne, minus the downtown experience and the music, of course. This year's Edward Hospital Naperville Marathon and Half Marathon will be twice as nice as race officials announced yesterday that available spots will double to 7,000 for the two Chicago area races on November 9th. Those races will start and finish from a different location than last year and will wind through more neighborhoods in Naperville, likely eliminating the segments that covered some narrow pathways throughout the Springbrook Prairie and Green Valley Forest Preserves. Race organizers say the marathon still plans to start and finish downtown to incorporate the business community, as well as give runners and fans places to celebrate after their big run. Registration is set to begin in early March. And Huntington Beach's 18th annual Surf City Marathon on February 2nd will actually be the 100th race run for one contestant. 64-year-old Robert Mignosa ran his first marathon in 1964. Mignos has run the Surf City Marathon seven times. He's completed marathons in Los Angeles, Boston, San Francisco, San Diego, Las Vegas, and San Antonio, and has even run in Dublin, Ireland with his son. Mignosa will be leading a pack of runners from Team Challenge, a running program that helps raise money for the nonprofit Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. That's a look at Pace Per Mile News on this Tuesday, January 21st. I'm Lisa Knight.